Hey guys, this is Coach Chris. Welcome to my channel where we break down international level fights from strategies and tactics that you can use in your own matches. Um, here we have Park TJ from Korea against Hajum Mosei from Iran. Uh, I was told to watch Park TJ as a request by you guys, so this is actually my first time watching this guy. I, I yeah, first time watching this guy, and uh, so let's get into it. I did see a part of the first round, but I had to stop recording because there were a lot of explosions near me and I had to go do check to make sure the family was okay. But I think there were fireworks and we're all good here. Oh, I'm watching at half speed because I was breaking down this amazing head kick in the first part of the match. Um, nice shot for the head there. Punch. And then th the, the head kick is coming up in a second. Takes the point away. Blue gets a point though. Yeah, that was the head kick I slowed down because I was like, that is, that's nutty. Full rotation on the way. It's like a flick kick up. Some, that's a, that's a new one from this, from this distance. That's, that's a new one. Be looking. Let me let me take this back just a little bit. Boom. Looking down and then gets the f brings it up to the side and then turns it fully. Great, great kick. I th that is something that's that's really good. One more time, just because it's so nice. Yeah, I don't know. I was I was thinking like because Iran didn't even have his hands up, so even if it was just a crescent kick, um, it may have still went in. But just I guess just uh just the flourish is nice. High pressure. I wonder what this guy in Jinsei Obey's sparring matches must like. There there must be a lot of clashing because this guy's not. It's been forty seconds. 35 seconds of just straight engage. This is like his first. Okay, never mind. They're not going to take a break anymore. Golly. Um, uh, let's put this back. I, I want to see the technique of this kick. Boom. Why does it get through so well? That's what I'm looking for. I mean, obviously there's a knee flick, but like if you just block for a regular crescent kick, why does it? I guess that one he didn't really see as much um, and it hit the top. I guess the kicks gets through because if you're blocking it into a straight trajectory, it's going to go here. But because of the knee flick, let's say the foot's here, the trajectory of the foot, I'm going to try and do this in the camera. The trajectory of the foot's this way. Because of the knee flick coming down, you kind of finesse the strong part of the arm and it goes straight to the hand. So if you were to kick round kick, like someone who's blocking a round kick can block the round kick. And most people don't do it with just their hand. They'll try and get more of the forearm in the way. Um, because if it's just the hand, like your arms better be freaking strong because that's a kick. So you got to like hold the kick with your hand versus most people try and get the forearm in the way. So it's a strong, you know, you have a sturdy structure here, right? But I think the reason this kick is getting through is because as the trajectory is coming up, most people have the hand coming up to here. And so when the knee rotates, instead of the kick coming here, the knee rotates and the foot trajectory changes and he starts coming down this way. So it's reaching through the top part of the hand. Um, and I think that's why it's getting through. Like that's how the, the the calculus is working in my head. So maybe that's what it is. But so far, crazy stuff out of this kid. Um, and it seems like it's a lot of um, obviously it's a lot of left leg pressure and a lot of willing to fight in the clinch. Nice punch. That's kind of grabbing, but you know whatever. Iran doesn't seem like he knows what to do against someone like the holy cow. And he has a both if correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the second time was from his right leg. So he has this kick on both legs. 
Punch for punch. I think Iran's trying to hold on. Um, hold on, I'm meaning like... Uh, I don't like a stamina. Oh, holy cow, stamina wise. Let's watch that again, folks. One more time. I need to see the whole cake, though. I know. I know it doesn't score, but like. It's uncanny. Oh. But his coach is telling him not to back off right now. Crowd him. Yep. Right now he's trying to, I think he might be trying to um, just save energy for the next, yeah, save energy for the next round. That's all right. You win the round. Win by a point. Ten points doesn't matter. Nice punch. Oh, he went, tried for that kick again, but it wasn't the guy wasn't standing there. Oh, better coverage. Nice four. It should be a four. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I can kind of see the grabbing. I can see it. I can see it. Wow, she's helping him. Maybe that's a new thing. Oh, she wants it full. Yeah, there's a thing where they want your gear fully covered all the time. This guy's like, oh, put it on. As a referee, should you have stopped it there? Um, maybe. Because technically the gear is off. It's dangerous for the player. But not fully off. So... What I'm seeing here is Iran's, um, I don't know. It seems like uh, Park is not as aggressive in this match, and he's l fighting a little bit more relaxed and at distance, and obviously Iran is better at that game. Um, it also seems like Iran's covers have adapted a little bit more, so they're a little bit more wide, and he's not trying to just uh, body roll it. And then the last thing is uh, Iran's utilizing more of a scorpion kick as park crashes against him so iran's done some great jobs great job here to uh adjust against this kind of crazy style uh well not really crazy this very forward attacking style of park but park has also seemed like he's let off the gas so that is my explanation for why it's so close the brawl Like, in the first round, yeah, it was like that for like 40 seconds. Okay, here we go. Maybe he's trying to turn it on now. Oh, okay, watch for that scorp. Okay. Watch for the scorpion kick. Yeah, obviously a lot of grabbing going on here. I think that gets called for... Oh, nice. Waiting for the perfect moment there. Did he, did he angle that? Nice little angle. Okay. That's all I was like, you need to go to the head. You did it before I could say it. Punch, maybe, maybe. That's really unfortunate that he gave him either of those punches. Oh, he's too tired to execute it well. That would have been a good punch. Yeah, it's uh, that's tough. That's tough. So this young feisty warrior here, uh, Park, 
breakdown of his game is uh, it's a lot like Jensei Obey. He's crashing with that fluff leg to the front. His inside game is, I'd say, his inside game, his his clinch game is mostly the head kick, but he's really really good at brawling. Versus, I think Junsei Obey is really good fighting backwards in the clinch. Um, so there's a slight difference between those two, but both of them, uh, both of them have the same issue where they're not super tall fighters, especially compared to Iran in this situation, or compared to, I guess most people in their division, they just know they're not as tall, and so the way to beat that that these two have found is to crash your opponent, have them always fight in the clinch because that's where it's maximized, and. I think what we saw here in the second round was obviously you get fatigued, so he's not as um, crazy about fighting the clinch here. Uh, he kind of let off the gas, so that's that's what I noticed. If he's somehow able to have the stamina to keep it up the whole time, I think the score would have been similar as to the first round. Iran here, good adjustments with the scorpion kick, but this guy's pretty feisty, man. It's kind of interesting, and it's interesting to see, I guess, what a smaller person has to do to win the game. So for those of you guys who are smaller, it seems like it seems like the answer is fight people and pressure and you better have a really good inside game because when you're exchanging like that, technically you should be winning because that's like the optimal distance for your kick. Um, but I mean taller guys can obviously uh, kick your kick your head more often. You can develop a kick like this guy where he flicks it up to the face to get around the forearm. Really good little invention there. Um, but yeah, so more for you guys who are smaller fighting bigger opponents. Interesting stuff. Uh, I'm going to look for more of this guy's fights. Talk to you guys next time.